All right, got another deck for you. Missed yesterday, but this is a good one. Call it Ski Mask Way. Really is just uh, based off of Agent of Treachery, pushing a little bit with uh, Elementals, and really utilizing Quasi Duke Tape. So it can push for damage through Nissa or Agent of Treachery. That's really the main win conditions. Cavalier of Thorns could be another one, but I just have one. Frilled Mystic is great as a four of just for countering. Neoform got a couple of Paradise Druid and Leafkin Druid just ramp us. Cloud Kinsir and obviously um, the what is it? The Reform pretty much helps us uh, just ramp up heavy. Uh, lands are clean. I haven't done a two color deck in a little while, and God, it feels so good. <laughs> like not having to use Fabled Passage is fantastic. Um, so everything runs smooth, and Quasi Duplicate is really the star of the show, even though it needs all those other pieces like this is what makes the deck feel crazy and get over top of all those other ones and it was pretty good in a field environment but in this post field lots of oko banning this is actually the way to go if simic flash starts coming up to beat oko decks then teferi is the card that i think needs to be added you can add that third color and it will just be a splash of white though like everything else is going to be pretty much uh, Simic and you just have three of for Teferi and possibly touching on the sideboard or I would say four of Teferi but I only have three and then you cut Frilled Mystic probably. So let's just get into it. And this is not the type of hand I want to see most often. Um, Neoform is a card that can get cut also I'm sure but it does help us in certain terms. This is great. We're gonna cut Neoform. Uh, we'll drop Neoform in this case, but we probably are gonna cut him, cut it in the final version. Um, yeah, we got some ramp. If we can get to Cavalier of Thorns, we're in a good position. Hopefully, uh, we can start seeing some Agent of Treacheries. Mm, fast deck. Don't like seeing that. But ooh, the, yeah. Okay, this is better. The Risen Reef. Yeah, the Reef form. I called it before. <laughs> Yes, Risen Reef. That's going to be a good card. This is going to help. Um, could have a Disfigure, but since we have Risen Reef, we'll take the chance. If that's their turn, rather than putting more cards on the board, I think we're okay with it. Oh, look at them bluffing. <laughs> that's pretty good. I like it. Don't like that, though. We will get rid of Girl Spiral. I had a feeling it was coming, to be honest. Uh, ooh, double A. Alright, let's do it. Indeed, I will. And that's good. So now we've got the Cavalier ready and waiting in the wings. And if they have another hand removal spell, then as long as it's just one, we'll be fine. Two would be a problem. Um, I don't think I'm willing to sacrifice this Arisen Reef. And I'm okay with them spending their turn to hit me for four. But if they are spending the whole turn to kill my Leafkin, that would actually be kind of annoying. So let's see what they do. Feels like they just have hand removal. Nope. Okay, good. So we can get Cavalier or Risen Reef on the board. I think Cavalier is the move now. And then we Risen Reef plus Quasi Duplicate on this Cavalier and just start going off. Indeed, we'll put land on the board first. And Temple of Mystery, perfect. Yes, yeah, so now we got plenty of land. We're just looking for the bigger payoff cards. And yeah, Neoform really shouldn't be in this deck. This is the easy, like, hey, you could take out uh, Neoform, put into fairies, maybe Deputy of Detention, maybe even Knight of Autumn. Um, and you'll be straight. We'll put this to the bottom. Looking at what the options were, what we could actually ramp to, but we don't got like Omnath and we don't have a six drop with the Cavalier, so it's better to hedge our bets on Risen Reef plus Quasi Duplicate. And right now, we don't really need to block too aggressively. We can block with the Cavalier of Thorns on the Knight, but it's not necessary. I say we just let this attack hit us. We have plenty of life. We want to Quasi Duplicate the Cavalier of Thorns, so I'd rather not did have drill bit. Well, he might have just drawn that, but that does feel like uh, he played Riding Registrar first on curve, 
with the mana and then do that. If he has another discard spell, that hurts. But we will still be able to get a uh, quasi duplicate off. It's a solid card. <laughs> Come on, Agent of Treachery. Okay. Oh. We actually don't want to quasi duplicate Nissa. We probably should have played that first, but yeah, okay. I just wanted to see what we would get, and quasi duplicate is exactly what we were looking for. Next turn we can play Nissa, or it can get taken from our hands, either or, it doesn't matter. We're in a good position. just rolling oh and we get the leafkin <laughs> yeah yeah we're we're moving here more triggers he's done yeah they no reason to keep that game going solid stuff all right this is not bad hmm don't like not having two blues leafkin doesn't get us to filled mystic unfortunately We'll keep it. We really need another blue source. If we don't get another blue source early, we probably will get worked. But I, at least if we get this blue source, we, we'll be fine. We'll have Leafkin into holding up Frilled Mystic. Um, Quasi Duplicate can't hit anything, but hopefully we'll get to Agent of Treachery in time. Okay. That's not it, but that is exactly what we want to do after holding up for mystic so just one island come on just one island deck come on deck that's not it that's not it no please please don't do this please give us this land oh this setting up so much no neoform can get us the risen reef but it would be the same as just drawing the land if we get a land and then it would just take us to four if we didn't and drew the land and no there's no reason to oh my god oh my god they have so much time to set up <laughs> just give us no <laughs> i hate you goddamn tilt lands we'll have to keep that too just so we can uh risen reef just in case no reason to use the neo form because we'd lose that land now this hurts. There's a chance we should have used um, like Neoform or something and then uh, gotten like the draw card and then used the temple or something. I, I don't know, man. This just. This hurts. Oh. <laughs> well, they had all day to make this happen. Now we're about to take some heat. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to have to not block. Use Cavalier of Thorns to block. If we can get Cavalier of Thorns to block properly, we could, um... Oh, baby, give me life. We could... What can we do? We can block something in the air. That would be good. Um... Dang, so many things. Okay. So we still are... Now, if they have anything with more life like that, well, that happens after time, so that's fine. Well, that's gonna screw us. Alright, so 10 life does not matter. Uh, we're losing the leaf from here, and we're losing... We can't lose Cavalier of Thorns either. I mean, like, we literally can't. It just, we can't die in this attack, <laughs> so... And there's nothing in our graveyard to get anyway, and unfortunately, we can't even block like that. We have to block... This stupid 5-5 five five where we die. Oh my god. Okay. Just in time. Um, We can't even double quasi-duplicate, which would be our only way out. Um, we can quasi-duplicate, neo-form, grab, no 6-drop. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe we can grab an island. Okay. Okay. 
then we quasi duplicate again and we have enough blockers to block everything and then our cavaliers die and we get some stuff and we hope for the best this doesn't feel good though throw the mystic yeah, out I don't need you right now mm, need that neo form I really want that we're gonna die to anything yeah we're not gonna be able to come back from this Let's just concede. We'll take it. But all our things are gonna die from a plus or just anything. Or a Johnny's uh, ultimate. We just let it go. Dang. Tough. Alright, better hand. We got all our ramp early and we go first. I'll take it. Let's let's get in there. Come on. Come on. This always sucks. I, I hate when it's like that. I think this is the reason why I so I've deleted a bunch of my decks. And uh, I'll get the well the reason for that really is uh I don't know. Start getting bored with standard, honestly. And uh yeah. I deleted a bunch of my decks and I I honestly I'm so happy that Brawl is out. So that's gonna be the next video is gonna that I'm gonna uh, put out and the reason why I missed yesterday. But I was just entranced with Brawl. It's so much more like I got so bored of this and what is this? This is probably gonna be like a, a turn well no, it's not Oko, thank god. But I've been seeing so much turn to Oko and I've been playing Oko in at least 40% of my ranked matches. So even though like I guess at the last mythic tournament Golos was 40% of the field and that was kind of crazy to see those numbers But in ladder you didn't see it as much Now in ladder I see Oko in so many decks that it's gross So I just want to take a step back and do some other stuff fun stuff and then start attacking it uh, Oko with certain decks like this that I think can beat Oko because Agent of Treachery is just disgusting and then I'll th I think that'll be good I think that's the way to get into this hmm. now that I think about it, do I have Hydroid Crisis in this deck? <laughs> uh, I gotta recheck, if I don't then Neoform gets cut, Hydro Crisis comes in. But, uh, I have that in the game, don't I? Hmm. I can't remember now. It's only been two games, so it's fine. Maybe I just haven't seen it. But I gotta look back again. <laughs> okay. So they're already at a good start. This is just, um,. Yeah, if that makes sense to play that. There'll be nothing but dust when I'm done. This is just uh some good old Grow aggro it seems, with more ramp than I'd expect out of Grow aggro. Um, I think we're gonna neo form this uh, Paradise Druid, and get Risen Reef, and then we're gonna use Leafkin Druid to grab another card. Yeah. We should have uh, played the Breeding Pool. Just, well, we should have waited and then possibly played the breeding pool. There's no reason to play the forest other than hmm, I don't even know what we could have played. Yeah, there was no reason to. Hopefully, it does not come back to bite us. But uh, next turn, as long as Leafkin survives, we can actually play Aging the Treachery. There's a chance we're gonna want to play Cavalier though, just to trigger this Elvish Mystic and have a better blocker. But we'll see. But right now we can get Domri or we can get Zerta Goblin, and neither one seems like solid, great options. Like I'm okay with both of those things. Bone Crusher, that wouldn't be a bad thing to grab. But let's see what the rest of this turn looks like. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. The goose. They don't even want to make a food. They must have something to play after this, which sucks. I'm gonna have to just eat the damage. Yeah, they can plus and well, they yeah. Now they can play Bone Crusher. All right, we might have to get this Asian treachery going. Luckily, if it is, yep, Bone Crusher Giant, we can take him and immediately have a blocker. And then we got Quasi Duplicates right after, which is fantastic. Um, Leafkin Druid can't block anything. Can it? Should we just pay this two life? Yeah. Let's uh, just in case. Because if anything, it can block. Uh, the four damage goblin. I think it's uh, safer to hedge our bets against uh, a possible ember cleave and just have a bunch of toughness to soak up damage and definitely throw the bone crusher giant just completely under the bus. It's going to die to whatever they attack with. Oh, God! Well, honestly, it's better than the Scargon Hellkite I was thinking they were going to have. With animals my entire but if they life. have, ooh, Explains well, lot, they still actually. can't use Embercleave. Domri doesn't work like that. Luckily, mana doesn't work like that. Can't just hold it through the phases like that. Um, yep. So, we might actually hold back the Leafkin. But, I want to say, let's steal Questing Beast and just take this box. It's iffy, but yeah, quasi duplicate. Oh my god, we have to hold up. Yeah, holding up Mystic 2, this is definitely the line. Steal Questing Beast, kill their Domri, have a bunch of blockers, frilled Mystic, whatever they play. They only got one card in hand. Then after that, it's just Cavalier of Thorns, another quasi duplicate. They can block. So let's do this. Hmm. They block questing beast, that's fine. Yeah, let's just start attacking. Let's go face. We got frilled mystic, so we can uh, afford it. Anything that's like a big surprise, we can stop. Not gonna lie, these uh, the other cards are starting to shine. Frilled mystic and neoform uh, looking okay right now. Still need hydroid crisis. Something's gonna have to get cut for that. <laughs> but otherwise, I'm cool with this. And I don't think we would no, do the I'm full playset of hydroid anyway. I think it would just be three. Something that we'll have and hold in our hand to just refresh. Yeah, that's not much, but if that's their last card, let's just tempo play it. And this is definitely a case of you should have held something in their hand. But good game. Yeah, it looked like a budget grow aggro. Definitely a few cards I don't see often, like Gilded Goose and definitely Thrashing Bronze Baton. Oh, God, I love two colored decks. I don't even really like this hand, but we can get to Asian of Treachery, which means we're gonna go for it. Once upon a time. Okay, let's see what you are. I like that card a lot. I'm not gonna lie, it feels very spiky unfortunately and I hate how like I, I don't like how magic is like spiky at times it's not as insane as something like Hearthstone where it's just completely random and just fucking or like a uh, Rakdos uh, the Rakdos dude and it's just like flip a coin and let's see how many people die but shit like this Oko to ensure that you can uh, like once upon a time to ensure you can Oko in turn two feels ridiculous and I just, oh my god. You see, it's too often now. Like, you can have such a good opening hand that just, it, this feels unwinnable already. Like, I'm just gonna be taking, really? And that's a heads up play. That's pretty good. Um, it's still, we'll still be able to get Nissa on five if we, if we hit this Leafkin and it doesn't die to something. But that is, <sighs> And the food is plus two. You can ultimate without dying the turn after. And it's like the plus one is gonna validate so many things I have. We'll actually take our chance with Risen Reef. And then next time we can leave him and uh, spend life or not. Or we can do this. And hope that this thing doesn't die. We got enough land for uh, Agent of Treachery. 
as long as one thing survived, either it's Nessa or the Leaf King Druid. So let's just hope let's just hope they don't have like the payoff card. If they have the uh, the Wicked Wolf or the Questing Beast or Nissa or Hydroid Crisis, then we're in trouble. Like we're gonna lose too fast. And with the Grazer and Gilded Goose, you can just plus one them and make them into three three beaters. It's Your so dumb. Is this is enchanting. so stupid. I hate Oko so much. Okay, so it looks like the hand is not great though, at the very least. So we definitely gotta keep this alive. Hope they don't have like a deputy detention or something. The bent players usually have deputy detention. I was thinking about it. I really was thinking about it still, even though in my head I'm like, nah, I can't be right. Okay. Quasi duplicate's not bad, but it definitely is time to. Let's see. Maybe we do Leaf Kin plus Quasi Duplicate. Maybe we just get a bunch of uh, things on the board, but this feels like the better play just so we have some defense. Plus, their blockers are bad right now, so we can maybe pressure Oko, kill one of their things, play Leaf Kin right after. That's gotta be the move. Sucks that Nissa seems like it's gonna die, but. Well, not die, but they're gonna get this block off, and then we're gonna leave Kin Druid, and then Nissa could die. We're gonna have to sacrifice something to it, probably. But I do want to tempo out this leaf Kin Druid, regardless. Because there's always a chance it dies anyway, and then I just don't want to be stuck. I want to be able to play uh, Agent Treachery next turn. <laughs> Yep, so yeah, now we're like just all but guaranteed to play the next turn. The new dismiss in the X in the corner is pretty cool though. I, I like how it's not as uh, up in your face as the other one. Like, it was a lot. And there goes the deputy. Yep. We play deputy in this version. Gotta accept that. What else they got though? Just land. Okay, so that's what I was. That's more or less how I expected their hand to be. Um, and we can beat this. We just need to. I'm not sure what we hit with this. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure what we hit with this agent of treachery. Because we gotta hit something with this agent of treachery and then just start quasi duplicating it. And that's how we get into it. That's how we win this game. After a stupid ass turn to Oko. What a dumb thing. <laughs> yeah, just pressure. Surely Got you it. see the humor here. And block the druid, paradise druid though. So that's uh, some damage off. Taking six hurts, but we'd accept that. All right, cool. All right. Yeah, no reason not to. I think in this case we steal what though? We steal Oko. We gotta steal Oko. It's the only thing that makes sense. The only thing that's like really good on the board still. Um, if we steal Oko and make our land a 6-6 or make another food, I think we're good. I'm leaning towards making... The land a 6-6 just seems really good, especially with Vigilance. But I'm leaning towards making, making this food token a 3-3. Either or is pretty good though. Hmm. Either or is pretty good. Yeah, we'll make this a three three. And next turn we got uh we got we, we still got gas in here. Well it looks like they're kind of out. Put on your um no reason to attack with this land, is there? No. Let's just keep our Oko now alive. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Alright, now this is a big draw for them. If they get something like Wicked Wolf or Questing Beast isn't that big of a deal right now, but Wicked Wolf would be annoying. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, time to come back. What you got, what you got? That's it. Who turn to Oko. Yeah, this is something that I'm going to play post ban.
All right, so yeah, there goes a the chest. I got like a bunch of like cards because of uh, I got this chest luckily, and I also got uh, four rare wild cards from the banning of Field of the Dead, which was pff, fantastic. I'll take it. But my luck in standard has been less than optimal, so I think I'm gonna be done with that for a little bit, especially since I've been playing draft and brawl so much, and it's so much fun. Draft, I've actually been doing incredibly well in, in certain runs. Like, I'll go, you know, like three wins, and then I'll go like seven wins on the next one. So, I'm going to switch things up, make some new decks, be off of standard for a little while, but I'll be back with everything soon. Alright, peace.